What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here bringing you another Mutt 16 Legends video. Today we're looking at the Indianapolis Colts. As always guys, can we get 50 likes on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. We want 10,000 subs by the time Madden 16 comes out. We're well on our way to that goal. So keep on keeping on. Um, so yeah, without further ado, the base of the premise of the series is that EA should release the top five legends for each individual team. I haven't, if there has been a previous legend for that team, I have included that because that makes the most sense. They won't have to do any licensing, any extra stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, so number one with the Colts, we're starting with John Mackey, already has a legend card. Uh, don't, I believe it was just Madden 25. Uh, career low, one of the first, you know, pretty much one of the, uh, the forefathers of the tight end position. 5,000 career receiving yards and 38 receiving touchdowns. Uh, not super amazing. But uh, definitely for back in the day when tight ends were very, very rarely used or pretty much supposed to block, used primarily as a blocker, uh, you know, Mackey was a definitely a trailblazer at the tight end position. Uh, now, before I get into my the rest of the top five, I will say two things. First, we're going to mention there was a Marshall Falk card. Uh, I believe it was a throwback of some sort. I don't have it right in front of me, but everyone knows Marshall Falk is best known for what he did with the St. Louis Rams, as well as I did omit Johnny Unitas. Uh, simply just because there's so many goddamn legendary quarterbacks in this game uh, that I could come up with four other Colts I would like to see that wasn't him. And obviously, uh, like I said, you got Andrew Luck already playing a quarterback, so you're a Colts fan. You're probably pretty content using Andrew Luck. Uh, they'll probably toss you, you know, a throwback paint Manning of some sort. But I will definitely have to admit, if I'm taking top five legends, Johnny Nice needs to be there. Uh, but he just wasn't included on the cards that I made. Uh, so going to card number two, I'm going Jeff Saturday. Uh, it's very, you know, it's pretty easy uh, to say, when you can think of a center that comes a franchise, obviously he's he's pretty much entangled with Peyton Manning. But you know, the more center, it's hard to get. Uh, you know, a pro, a legendary offensive lineman that a lot of people remember, and many people will probably know Jeff Saturday is one of the best centers of the last probably 15, 20 years or so. Uh, Five-time Pro Bowl, like I said, pretty much goes hand in hand and is pretty much linked with Peyton Manning uh, for his career. But uh, I felt it was right to put just Jeff Saturday here because. You know, realistically, you get the two centers from the Steelers. They're pretty much the only two legendary centers in Ultimate Team. You got uh, Dermotti Dawson and Mike Webster. So let's throw in Jeff Saturday there. Um, going number three, we're going with Edger and James. Or Edger, yeah, Edger and James. I don't know why I can't not. That sounds right. Um, Edger and James, like I said, another guy pretty much entangled with the Peyton Manning prime years uh, for Indianapolis. 9,000 career rushing yards uh, with 80, I believe it's 80, I might have 70, 70 or 80 career touchdowns. Uh, but, I mean, you know, he's always was uh, the balance between the Peyton Manning offense to Reggie Wayne and Marvin Harrison, uh, you know, to kind of, you know, get some run game established here. Don't make Peyton Manning have to win the game uh, through the air every single time. And that's where James came in. Uh, going to legend number four, uh, speaking about Edger and James and who was around that time, Marvin Harrison. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised he hasn't got a card here yet. Uh, one of the greatest wide receivers of all time, uh, an eight-time Pro Bowler. Uh, 11, uh, 1,100 receptions, career, uh, f almost 15,000 career receiving yards, and 128 career receiving touchdowns. Obviously, uh, you know, he, he benefited from having Peyton Manning as quarterback. But you got to think, for, for a pretty large part of his career with the Colts, he did have Reggie Wayne on the opposing side of him competing for catches and stuff. So they, the, the fact that he was able to produce at that kind of rate, uh, as well as having another probably Hall of Fame wide receiver on the opposing side of him, Reggie Wayne, uh, it really speaks volumes. But then also, uh, you know, they, the Colts threw the ball up a lot. Tony Dungy and Peyton Manning, they went to the air uh, more often than not. Uh, so, you know, they were almost, they were one of the closest things to an air raid offense. Uh, but why not when you have those kind of weapons at your disposal? And finally, number five, we're going with Dwight Freeney. I uh, fucking love Dwight Freeney. I know he's had, I'm pretty sure he had a throwback card or something. He had some form of special card, but uh, I think you might as well just give him uh, a legendary card. Uh, well, I don't think he's retired yet. Is he still with the Chargers? If he's not, re if he's not retired yet, then obviously you'd give him a throwback card. But 107 career sacks, uh, seven-time Pro Bowler, pretty much for someone like me who loves playing on the defensive line with finesse moves, maybe the best uh, defensive uh, defensive end with def uh, with finesse moves in Madden history. Uh, he has that his own like signature that little spin that he does. Uh, I really really love to play with this card. I'm not a giant Colts fan at all. Actually, I, many of you've known if you're not new to the channel, I fucking despise Peyton Manning. But uh, when whenever I had to force myself to watch the Colts play, it's always exciting to see Dwight Freeney do his thing. Uh, so yeah, those are my top five Colt legends. With honorable mention to John Unitas, you got John Mackey, Jeff Saturday, Edron James, Marvin Harrison, and Dwight Freeney. So with that being said, guys, can we get 50 likes on this video to upload another one? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, it's your boy C4, saying peace out.